what the children of Israel were doing. Whenever they are faced with challenges, they said the God of Abraham. They got what do you think they were doing? They were making reference because they have seen a man who is blessed. They say to me, after this service, God will make you a reference point. Yeah. You will enter into that covenant. Somebody say into that covenant. Up until today, because of that one covenant, you and I still claim Abraham's blessings. The man is long gone. Generations upon generations. We want Abraham's blessing. Why? Because he's a covenanted blessing. A covenant that cannot be broken. Oh, I pray that God will enter a covenant with you today. Amen. What do you think is the difference between two people? One person can be praying over a situation for three months and nothing happens. And another man just steps in there and speaks one word. One word. And the situation changes. They're talking to the same God. The difference is that one is in a covenant. Cannot be denied. Somebody say cannot be denied. How did you explain that Joshua stood and commanded the son to stand still? Commanded the son. When God created the world, it was never in God's plan that a day should be more than 24 hours. And a man stands there and say, Oh son, stand still. I try to imagine what happened in heaven. I'm sure God would have asked, who made such a decree? They said, Father, it is Joshua. He said, what? If it's Joshua, we must honor it. Because we are in covenant with him, we cannot allow him to be disgraced before me men. Because he has uttered it, let it happen. I pray you will come to that dimension. of oppression that when you open your mouth the bible says no word of somewhere fell to the ground unfulfilled he was in covenant relationship he was in covenant relationship elijah came before king Gale and said oh king there will be no rain for three and a half years he said it is not a toss is the law i didn't see it in a vision he said it will be according to my word Go and read your Bible. That's what he said. According to my word, there will be no rain for three and a half years. I am sure that's why the king ignored him. Who are you to say there will be no rain for three and a half years? People have even said, Thus says the Lord before, and it didn't happen. And you here coming to say, According to your word. So he ignored the man. And that helped Elijah to find his way of escape to the brook. I'm sure when heaven had it, that was, who made such a decree? He said, Father, is Elijah. He said, Who? If it's Elijah, we must honor it. Lock the heavens up. Let there be no rain for three and a half years. According to the word of a covenanted man. Because it's a covenant. It's like you standing and saying, There'll be no winter for three and a half years. <laughs> Say, I lock. He said, Listen. There will be no winter in this country for three and a half years. And heaven hears it. And heaven decides to honor it. Am I talking to somebody here? It takes a level of covenanted relationship for that to happen. I have sworn by myself, Abraham, that in blessing, I will bless you. My prayer in this liberation conference as we come to the grand finale, is that somebody here will enter into that covenant yeah. relationship? Yeah. That place of covenant yes. that when you speak, heaven will honor it. Yeah. When you walk, the covenant follows you. Yeah. Every door you approach will open to you on its own account. Yeah. The places that we're not answering to people, they will answer to you yeah. because you are coming with the other kuma shadakata. Like a prosciate talker, Ricamandosia, I bring you into that covenant today. I separate you from every generation.
foundational covenant that have been stopping you. Lineage and background family covenant that be holding your heart. I command them be broken in the name of Jesus. That you enter into a covenant with God. The Bible says that we who were not sons have become sons of God. So he says to you, if you observe to do according to that which is written here, leave my path and we do it. I will do my own part. What I have said I will do, I will do it. Sometimes the reason why we labor hours on end in prayer is because we have not obeyed. It's because we have not practiced what is written in the word. When we tie ourselves, you can stand before God and say, Oh God, you said in your word, if I do this, you will do this. I have done it. Show yourself. And you cannot, you cannot fulfill your terms of the covenant. And God will not show up. People of God, my prayer is that before this year runs out, you will experience the benefit of the covenant. Yeah. Oh, I say you experience the benefit of the covenant. Yeah. I say you experience the benefit of the covenant. Yeah. I say you experience the benefit of the covenant. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you observe to do what is written in the word, I will become an enemy to your enemy. I become an adversary to your adversary. Now, this is how I like to explain this. Some of us, 